Okay, okay, come closer. There we go. There we go. Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Jamia Jante. I like to do beauty, hair, and skincare, and just helping others just become better. Them. Help you become a better you. I help myself become a better me because that's what I'm doing on this journey. I'm learning myself, but I'm also teaching others as I learn. But if you have not seen my previous video, definitely go check that out. That is a skincare video, which I currently, a routine that I currently do. I did give you guys a really good tip in that video. I almost said what it was, but just go check out that video. I'll leave a card up somewhere, wherever side it's going to be in. But definitely shout out to Golden RX for that tip. Definitely check out my video and also go check out her channel to figure out what I'm talking about. But today's video is about how I create this simple makeup look. I like it, I like it, because this is what I'm currently doing. It's been a while since I've done makeup. And this is kind of a little chit chat, a little get ready with me, because I ain't going nowhere because we're in quarantine, but we still can get ready and get cute, so. Hope y'all enjoy this video and I see y'all in the next one. Say it with me, baby. Say it with me, baby. Say it with me, baby. Okay, so I'm starting off with a fresh face. I just washed my face about a hour ago. Probably been two hours now. It's early, it's like 10 o'clock right now and I woke up at 5 or whatever but who okay, cares let's get into this so I'm just go ahead and start to prime my face with my what is this called L'Oreal Paris Infallible Matte Lock Primer this is the same thing I've always used so if, also bear with me because my camera's right here but I'm also looking at myself in the mirror but I kind of got set up so you guys can still see what I'm doing yeah, it's doing my makeup, chilling. I wish I can listen to some music, but I'm not trying to get flagged or anything. And yeah, I am in the bathroom as well. I have to get me a new mic. So when I do videos like this, you all almost hear the echo, <laughs> echo, echo or anything. But yeah, I'm just getting myself ready for the day. We're still in quarantine, of course. But be sure to just love yourself and take care of yourself. Don't allow yourself to just go into like be something place or the dark space. Still treat yourself really good. So now since we primed already, I am going to go ahead and apply my foundation. This is the Fitting Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte. This is probably like the first foundation that came out with still using it until it's gone that's when i would buy a new one and this is in the shade 420 what i like to do i like to apply it at, on the back of my hand and then oh my goodness i just did that this is my favorite shirt maybe i should never think that because i ain't had that problem before until I just cleaned this. But anyways, I do like three pumps of this. Hear noises. I don't like that, especially not when, not when I'm home by myself. I like to apply it with my fingers and just dot it around. The reason why I do this, I know where the foundation is going to go. Instead of applying it to the actual brush or um, blender. Because I don't feel like, I feel like it just... When you do it that way, it just takes up all the product. But anyway, like I said, I'm just getting ready for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and probably film. I don't know, I wasn't even planning on filming this video actually, but I'm gonna film another video that I was already planning on doing. So that's what I'm really getting ready for, to film some videos. Go ahead and use my beauty blender. I just cleaned it and it's nice and damp. And I think I'm torn between using brushes and blender, the beauty blender, to apply my foundation because 
I don't know. Oh, let me see. Yeah. I think when I get my brushes, it gives me like a more of a fuller coverage. I don't like to constantly keep adding more layers of foundation. I just like to do one foundation and call it good. But my beauty blender, that gives me my, it just makes it more skin-like. That's what I really like. It looks more natural. And I'm not like doing this fast on purpose. This is just how I really do my makeup to make sure to bring it down on the neck so it's not looking too crazy. You know what I just did? I kind of always go back and forth with doing this. Sometimes I like to put my do my put my eyebrows do my eyebrows before I apply my foundation. A lot of the times, but sometimes I also just tend to do the eyebrows later. But I think the reason why I'm doing it this way, like I said, I was not intending to do it this way, but it's because the last time I did it, when I get ready to apply foundation and like concealer to like this area area. It just takes away like the front part of my eyebrow that I create. Like, so I like my eyebrows closer together. So that's, you'll see how that turns out. And I blend the heck out my foundation because like I can't blend too much. I'm gonna make sure I get every little crevices. It's all even everywhere. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you all. Quarantine was starting to really get the best of me, but shout out to my boyfriend, shout out to my god mom and my mom and everyone else who just be like uplifting me when they see that I'm down because that's not that's not what doing in 2020. Just because COVID-19 is going on right now, we're still achieving goals. We're still going after everything that we said we wanted because remember i learned this from um eric thomas on his previous motivation um video on one of them the virus is called covid 19 not covid 20 not covid 2020 this virus has been out since 19 since like it was like the end of 2019 and in that time we were already manifesting the things that we wanted to have in 2020. So, this guy just having a fun way of working. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm also trying to link that video down below so you all can just check that out. But that video right there, that's what really got me like in a mood to just get up and get my life together because, period, I'm still about to do the things that I desire in my life. Yeah. I don't know, I can't talk in my makeup sometimes, so. And I do have like a detailed, like everyday makeup routine, which I believe I'm using the same exact products, but that was like film last year or so. So I will probably do like update, but these are still the same. It's just, I probably can like explain it a little bit better. But that's one thing I do gotta work on is explaining things in my videos better, and especially when I do voiceovers because like I can talk to you all right now. I still feel like I'm talking fast because I am running out of breath, but I had to learn to not talk so fast. I had to learn to pace myself and just give myself time because sometimes when I get tried, ugh, see, that's what happens. That's exactly what happens. Sometimes when I try to explain things, like I either stumble over my words a lot, I just really get stuck and then I eventually just lose track of what I'm even talking about. And I really don't like that. Or start saying things that have nothing to do with what I'm talking about. I'd be like, what the heck? Where did I even come from? And I'd be on my boyfriend about that when he does it himself. I'm like, bro, what, what's your problem? Like, a lot of times he's just tired because he'd be working. So that's one thing I'm very grateful is that he's still working. He is able to find work and that he is pushing me also to do the, what I'm doing right now because we both know that I am destined to be my own boss. I'm destined to be like, a, it's really, I'm destined to be self-employed and just handle this. I don't need to be working for other people. Neither does he, but I have a platform to do so right now. And once I'm up, definitely, trust me, he will not be working either. He's working on things that he, he um, wants to desire in life. 
while still working, but she needs more. So right now is not the time to do those things since he can't do what he really wants to do in life right now because of this coronavirus. <laughs> Why did I say like that? But yeah, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. Oh, I used, well, you already know what this is. The LA Pro Girl Concealer. This is in the shade Fawn. I think I wanna go a little bit darker whenever I do find some more. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and go ahead and set that concealer in place. Try not to get this. Try not to get this on my shirt because I should have put like my apron on. That's what I should have did. Y'all, this is really how I do my makeup. When I'm really doing like a full on tutorial, I try to do like I really do my stuff neatly. I do not do my stuff neatly. This is. Do it real quick, real quick, cause we got places to go. I'm at 11 minutes, that's good. This actually showed me how fast it takes me to do my makeup while I'm talking, so it probably takes me a little quicker sometimes. But also, since the time that I have done my makeup now, you're never doing what we're doing. I just been taking my time, but I'm trying to get as much as I can done today so that tomorrow I can, well, tonight I can write my goals for tomorrow and I can just go straight and get those goals done. And there's nothing better than a feeling of like accomplishing, getting things accomplished that you've been procrastinating about. And that's something that I struggle with a lot. Let me see if I can step back. Cause this is how I do my eyebrows. And I took my head back so I can really see the shape of my natural eyebrow. And this is a brush from Clean Color. Color. Oop, it's not gonna focus in. Sometimes my phone be focusing stuff and I'm like, okay, what do I need an actual camera for? But I do plan on getting a camera because I'm sick of my phone telling me I'm out of space. And then I have to wait until these videos export to my computer. And sometimes it just takes years and years for things to work out. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. Y'all gonna see, y'all, y'all prior, y'all gonna see, y'all see how I was looking because these brows are different. They're definitely different. Yeah. We gonna work with it. We gonna work with it. Okay, I'm gonna just dust the wig. I did so much BS. I'm trying to get these eyebrows together. I am no master when it comes to my eyebrows. I used to be, but given that I don't wear makeup like that anymore. I'm relearning and I'm definitely about to master my makeup again because sis, this used to come so easy, but I'm about to be so much better than I was before. Period. That's, that's all I know. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn this light back on so I can blend correctly. It just helps me see. So sorry about the light fluctuation going on in this video is just what helps me. I use my ring light. Well, I really, I prefer to use my ring light when I do my makeup, but this bathroom light kind of helps me see. It's actually kind of pretty good. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what it is that's making it so different and so off. I just think my eyebrows probably done. That's probably really it really is. Okay, so I done did my eyebrows. So what's next? Contour the face. Oh, so what I use for my brows, it's if you're not a makeup artist and if you don't do other people eyebrows or you don't like to change your cat eyebrows, do not get this palette. It is a good palette, but I get have this big Okay, so I am back. So this is exactly what we're talking about. My phone, we can't help on me because I don't have enough space on my phone. I just gotta delete like 
a lot of stuff off my phone and I need a new phone with bigger storage because clearly or I just need a actually I don't need a new phone I just need a camera that's all I need so all I need is a camera and I'm gonna get that eventually oh, I don't like that like when I raise my eyebrows and it gets that little indent right there smear it out so the contour with I am using my BH Cosmetic is my Ray Ray palette. This is a 21 color eyeshadow palette with highlights and bronzer. And I pretty much use everything in this palette for the most part. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use the brownie bout bright uh brownie bite. Let's go ahead and contour my face. I'm gonna try to get all up in my hairline too because I don't like that little. Uh, it's kind of natural for like your skin and like in the hairline to be lighter, but sometimes it just be way off when you put on makeup. So I just try to adjust that. I'm just doing a nice natural subtle. Ooh, I don't think I'm my mascara. Um, so you look today, it's all, it's all you're doing. Something natural, something simple, nothing too much, nothing too under. You feel me? I'm gonna do something I never did before. Well, I have, I just don't do it as a daily thing because I'm gonna get that. Whoa, whoa, we just messed up right there. Yes, we did. That's one thing about makeup, you can always just retouch, fix whatever needs to be fixed. I don't know if y'all seen it, but I can see it in the mirror. But this is something I never really do is take the setting powder. Please do not mess up my makeup. And just contour underneath your contour. The reason why I don't do it, because a lot of time I thought like you would just see that you do that when you're in your makeup, so I just don't do it. But I'm gonna try it today and see how I like it. I don't like it's uneven. I'm probably doing all different types of angles just to do my makeup. That's, that's, that's what works for me. We just gotta find what works for you. This is just what works for me. So next up, we're gonna go back into the it's my Ray Ray palette and go ahead and do our highlights. And then all the little pink brushes that you see might see me use, obviously they match. So yeah, this is my Ray Ray ones and I really like them and they were super cheap I mean I won't say cheap they're super affordable I gotta stop change how I use my words can you really see what I'm doing because the lighting is kind of weird so I'm not overdoing it okay there we go And I mix the radiant and French toast together. One time I do moonlight is when I'm trying to be super extra. We just try to be subtle, semi subtle, because these not really that subtle. They they really pop. It really gets the job done. Just taking French toast and going underneath my eyebrow. Okay, I see what's wrong now. I don't know how to fix it. I ain't gonna fix it, but I don't know how to fix it for like future references. It's like this one goes up more and down. And this one goes more up, more straighter. It's not so uppity. So that's the problem. That's cool. We'll be all right.
Um, I'll always just go in and just try to blend it out so it's not too harsh. I put a little bit on my chin and right over here for some odd reason. I don't know why. I think that's just where the light hits. So I just try to put the highlighter wherever light naturally hits it. And that's pretty much how do my makeup. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to blend that out and hope that works. See, this one's on though. It looks ashy, so I just don't do that. If you had a really good setting powder, it will help. I don't look too ashy. I'm just gonna go back in. Whoa, that's a lot of highlight. You're shining on this side. So I'll go back in to the BH Cosmetic, to the bronzer, and just go underneath one more time to help kind of make it not look so, so ashy. I feel like that helps in a way. I'm going to do whatever my spirit tells me. It believes that's going to help me out. And that's what I do. And I trust myself. I trust the spirit in me. So, I have this same old mix matte finish spray that I've always used, but I want to switch to a dewy finish. I'm trying to tighter than that, but this is only what I have, so this is what I'm going to use. I'm scared to open my eyes. Just allow that to sit in. And I'm just gonna wipe away any makeup that's on the lip. I told you I'm keeping this supernatural, so. Mm, that's what it is on my lip. I'm gonna do a lip scrub. Just use my Nivea little lip. Care scrub, I say scrub. Just it, or I would just use Vaseline. I'm looking at my Vaseline too, but I just wanted to put this on because I'm like dipping my fingers in Vaseline. And then some mascara. This is the Maybelline New York, the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. This is all we're doing, and we are done with this look. If you're feeling a little fancy, you can add you an eyeliner, some eyeliner, a little wing if you want, but I ain't doing all of that, okay? Do you might just really just wear mascara by itself anymore, or do you everybody just do lashes now. I like to give my eyelashes a break from lashes, but I'm trying to find a really good natural lash. So I used to wear those super big lashes and that's, that's not where I'm at anymore. That's not me anymore, but this is the look for today. Super natural, super simple.